all righty so i realized a lot of you guys don't even have like a thousand medallions so we're gonna pop right here into rain of ruins and i'm gonna show you guys an easy strategy i learned this from super john bombo it's a nice strategy for easy medallions down here so we're gonna try and do that down here now number one just note that this does not work in every map there's no strategy that works in every single map but this strategy works in most maps so we're gonna try it out here um but yeah it's heli farm boomerang and let's just keep my okay so powers all right this is powers mode and stuff and sometimes you're going to get an opponent with spike storm or damage boost or some op tier 4 power and sometimes there's nothing you can do you know no matter how hard you try they just dominate you because they have better powers and i feel like i don't like what ninja kiwi did with powers it shouldn't be like if your opponent has better powers you automatically lose i don't like that so um if you're if this guy sam over here has spike storm then that's bad for us and you just have to play a lot better and you're probably going to lose if your opponent has tier 4 powers. But we're not going to use tier 4 powers here. We're just going to use classic powers here. Because not everyone has tier 4 powers here. Um, and by the way, like, like 4th tower here, by the way. Let's say the chipper is your tower. Let's say the chipper is going to help you out. You love the chipper and stuff. Incorporate it into the strategy. The 4th tower is there for you to use. It's good to use it. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to use it. I want to show off the strategy. Um, and try and make a bit of a guide, I guess. So we're going to do that. Now, when using the strategy, the start is always the same. You want to get into this routine here, alright? So... Number one, if you have a farmer, you can plop it down. Um, farmers are 200 medallions and stuff, so you still get more medallions if you use a farmer, because you get 500 medallions per game, so you still get 300 medallions um, bonus if you use a farmer. I'm going to use one just because I have a lot, and then we'll plop that down there. You want to start with the farm, right? You start with the farm, and then you also place down a road spikes if you have it, all right? Sometimes, maybe you have lightning or something. If you have lightning, you don't need to do this. You can just leak the lives. Um, but we're going to plop down the farm, and you go for one zero farm, all right? Go for that one zero farm. There's our one zero farm. And now we're just chilling, all right? Now we want to go for the heli pilot, all right? So um, I'm not quite sure we're going to place it yet. Maybe up here, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to go for the heli pilot. And yeah, you do not want to start the boomerang. Boomerang is not a good start with farm. It's a little too expensive. So we're going to go for the heli pilot. Plop down here, I guess. Just to d defend these balloons. And there we go. All right. Now the heli pilot. All right. Now we have a defense. And now we have a farm. And the most powerful thing about farms, by the way, is that you can sell them. All right. I know farms are great because they give you money, but you can also sell them. Okay, so look at this, 1,160, all right? So if I'm ever in a pickle, I can quickly go here, press the sell button, and suddenly I have instant cash, all right? And you want to practice being able to, you know, sell farms as quick as you can because sometimes you might be, um, you might need some cash. Like, let's say your opponent rushes you all of a sudden, and boom, you have to just get up money instantly. You want to sell the farm, all right? So um, there we go. Yeah, get up defense, not get up money, I meant. Okay, great. Now, I know it's we did go for the farm here because we want to go for farms, all right? Farms give you more money, defense will not. So I know we could get up quad darts right now, but we don't need quad darts. We're A-OK, -okay, all right? Look at our helipod. It is solid, all right? We don't need quad darts until our opponent sends us more balloons. If our opponent sends us balloons, we can get up the quad darts, all right? And that's why it's good to force defense, all right? It's good to send balloons towards your opponent if you want to force defense because you want to get them to spend more money on defense and less money on farms because farms give money, all right? So, um... Yeah, and you want you don't want to get a defense. You want to get the minimum amount of defense possible without losing, all right? You don't want to have so little defense that you're just leaking left and right, and it's really dangerous. But right now, the 0-0 high pipe, we're comfortable. We're good. We're going to go for more farms here. Now, round 6, 7, and 8 are very dangerous for the strategy, all right? If, if you're this opponent, Sam seems pretty chill. They're sending small rushes. We're fine. But, um... If this guy sent all out greens, we'd have to go for probably the Razor Rotors. We'd probably have to boost and stuff. This guy should be sending me blacks right now, all right? They should be sending me blacks, but they're not. Um, blacks would force the quad darts. And because they didn't force the quad darts, we have an extra $750 that we don't have to set, spend on our helipot here. So we can set, spend it on farms instead. Now, normally I would say never go for a farm round eight because this guy could rush me with yellows any second, all right? But this guy seems pretty passive. So I'm going to be a bit greedy here and go for a farm, all right? And remember, if you're ever in a pickle, sell a farm. It's okay. You know, I know it seems kind of like uh, you might be a little bit reluctant to sell a farm, but it's better to be alive with with um, two farms than to be dead with three. All right. It's OK to sell a farm. Don't be afraid. Um, we're going to go for one more farm here. There we go. This guy's very passive. This guy needs to rush me more. Um, but if they if they rush me round eight, I would have gone for the two, three boomerang. All right. And I'm going to get it up now just to be safe. There's the two, three boomerang. And then we're going to go for a farm here. We'll continue going for farms here now. If we are ever in a pickle, the boomerang is amazing because you have the turbocharge ability. So if we are ever being rushed, we sell a farm. We sell two farms, actually. We sell two farms and we go straight for that turbocharge right there. And the turbocharge ability is nice. It's like a blade mousetrap that hits camo. Um, here's a big camo balloons. We'll go here. Let's get up this. This guy needs to send me a camo lead. If they send me a camo lead, I would have to get up razor rotor. So they should send me a camo lead. We'll go for a farm here. You don't normally want to go for a farm round 13 in case they rush us, though. It's a bit dangerous. Oh, are they going to rush? Rush. Come on, rush me. 
I hope they rush us. That'd be fun. But if we're if we're having a pickle, we just turbocharge. This guy's setting blues and blues. Look at this. No problem. We don't we have to worry about those. But we have to be on our toes here. They could rush us. I'm gonna go for the Raider Razor Rotors here, just to be safe. We'll go for this. Um, but um, and by the way, pursue. I know pursue is good. I know a lot of you guys like pursue and stuff, but don't go for pursue because Razor Rotors. Here's what happens with pursuit. Let's look at pursuit really quick. All right, pursuit. Um, there's patrol. Let's go for pursuit. Look at pursuit right here. It's on the side of the map, right? It's on the side. I guess it's kind of over the, the balloons right now, but it's kind of on the side. Pursuit doesn't really know what it's doing. It's kind of weird how it works. It follows the balloons. But with um with lock in place or follow touch, you can control it yourself and you can control where you want it to go. All right. And what you can do is you can hover over the balloons and razor rotors, it shreds the balloons underneath it. So it's good to use um it's good to just ha just have that on follow touch, all right? You don't need pursuit. That's my recommendation. Now we could go for the factory, but this guy's very low in defense. So I'm going to send them a small rush here to try and force the boost. We don't know what powers this guy has. This guy could have Spike Storm for all we know. So I'm going to send them a few Zebras just to try and force some defense here. Force, force a boost even. So we're going to go here. There we go. Oh, do they have a sniper somewhere? I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It does not look good for them. They got the range boost up. I don't know. That might not be enough even. Is it? All right, so now we force the boost. Ooh, that looks bad. All right, they're okay. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Okay, this has been happening all day. Okay, are they dead? Wow. Okay, we took them down. There was lag. My Wi-Fi's been disconnecting all day. And I've had to keep recording videos over and over again. And my Wi-Fi just... You know like Wi-Fi like, can lag sometimes? It doesn't just lag. My Wi-Fi literally just disconnects and comes back. And so I was literally on cellular data a little bit right there. It's annoying. Man, but we did sneak out a win right there, so that's good. You know, you don't want to focus on your side too much. We could have rushed them probably earlier than that. We probably could have finished them off on round, like, 10 even. But I want to, like, kind of get through, like, what you want to do on your side. And so just do that each time, and this is a nice strategy. Now, Zen Garden, it's a little sketch of a map, all right? It's a little short for this strategy. I wouldn't recommend the strategy on this map, so I'm going to skip this map here against Anna Dubois. Dubois. There's some better way to pronounce that. I don't know what it is, but it's okay. Now, Frozen River, great. All right, this strategy works on pretty much most maps, any medium to long maps, and we'll just pop right in again. Nice, okay. And there's the wizard right there. Now, let's say we want to get up a wizard. Let's say round eight, there's a lot of yellows, and you want to get up a wizard instead of a boomerang. If you just use the wizard, it's here, you know? It'll help you out, right? Um, but, like, if I use the wizard right now, maybe some of you guys would want to, like, you know, try and do what I'm doing right now, and like, in an actual game, and then you wouldn't have wizards, you know? It'd be kind of, we need to focus on this strategy. So, there we go. Same thing as last time. Place down the farm. You place down the road spikes. Which way did the balloons go? Right here. There we go. Nice. Now, this guy is better bundles. And what you want to uh, pay attention to is better bundles is not a tier zero power. So, this guy does, does have tier one powers at least. Uh, I don't know. Um, So, we have to be on our toes here. We're doing the same thing. This guy's Heli Pilot. Okay. So, um, we'll see what they ha else they have. Heli Pilot's not that good against regens. You want to think about how fast can you take down your opponent here. We're going to place the Heli Pilot in the back. We are going to leak down a little bit, but I'm going to save some road spikes here. Road spikes are very... You want to save the road spikes if you can, because road spikes, I know they're just like itty-bitty little attack files, but they are powerful. You can you can help deal damage to ceramics. You can help pop leads. You can, you know, deal extra damage to Moab. A little... These little popping power thingies go a long way. <laughs> these little popping power thingies. Oh, that's what they should be called. Yo, these aren't road spikes. They're little popping power thingies. Great. Okay, so now you can also go for the second farm as well as the um the upgrading the farm, right? It's the same thing virtually, all right? So the, the two zero is a little bit better, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to go for the second farm here. There we go. Nice. Um, We'll continue. So this guy's sending pinks here. I'm going to go for the quad darts now. This guy's sending balloons. They're forcing the quad darts. Let's go for the quad darts. There we go. And they stopped sending. Actually, I probably shouldn't have gone with the quad darts. I could have leaked a few more lives and then just greeted it out. And then I would have had that extra $750. I could get up a second farm right now. Our third farm right now. But um, we did go for the quad darts. Good job. Um, So this guy just has a helipod. There's not much we can do. We can send them with some greens now, though. Ooh, they have farms. Okay, so here's what you do. When someone goes for a farm, that means they're very low in cash. When you when you get up a farm, you get up a farm instantly, and you're very low in cash. So this guy's going to be very weak against green. So we're going to send them this and see if we can force something. They have the wizard. Okay, we forced the wizard. Uh, they're going to be good, all right? We're going to have to... Oh, you got them to sell the farm. Excellent. If you can get them to sell the farm, that's great. Because every time you sell something... um. It, it's 80% of what you bought it for, all right? So we got this guy to lose a bit of money right there. Nice, okay. But greens are kind of weird because you have to send a lot of greens to force defense. Um, So 
I don't know. I, I stopped sending after the wizard because we would we would have to continue sending for a long time to force anything else. So yeah. So this guy's wizard. We have boomerang. I like the boomerang. The boomerangs and um you can by the way you can switch up the strategy if you want to go heli farm something else. That's great. But I feel like the boomerang's great because you have the turbo charge right. And the turbo charge is a nice it's a nice little panic button. Now it's round eight. If they rush me with yellows, we would have to get the two three boomerang. But they don't seem like they're rushing us. So we're gonna be a bit greedy here. Go for the farm here. Now if this guy rushed me right now, I would have to sell farm. They, I would have to sell farm because otherwise I would lose because I don't have any defense. I don't have lightning. And that's what the overpowered thing about power is. Like, if I had spike storm or lightning, I'd be A-OK. -okay. But, you know, we only have road spikes. So, yeah, we're going to go for that. Um, And now we're going to go for the 2 3 boomerang. Just to be safe, we'll go for this. Um, And what they should be doing is they should send me a lead to force the lead pod power. But um, they're not. But it's okay. I feel like just just for just to start out, if I was facing a pro, I wouldn't be doing this. But just I'm just gonna get up the two three boomerang just to like get in the habit. Just show you guys, just to have it up. Now this two three boomerang right here, if we're ever in a pickle, we just hit the hit the the panic button. All right, the turbo charge, and we are good in hunt. We're gonna go for one more farm. Little little dangerous. We'll see if they rush us here. I'm gonna go for pursuit just in case we need to get up a razor rotors. Um, I buy the pursuit upgrade just so I don't have to tap it later. Cause when you buy pursuit, it automatically heads to pursuit. So I don't want to be like trying to get up a razor rotors and then it goes on pursuit and then it's all weird. I don't know. Great. So this guy doesn't appear to be rushing me. I don't know what kind of powers they have. So why don't we send them a small bait rush here? Um, a nice bait rush here is we're going to send a, a just zebras. Just plain zebras. You don't have to camoize, regen. Just plain zebras. See what we can do here. Ooh, that's going to force something. They're going to have to do something against that. Boost. Boost. Uh-oh. My goodness. Anna. Uh, all right. Excellent. So what, you, what we were trying to do there is we were trying to force the boost, all right? Force some defense, force something. Let's see what their secret powers are. And they didn't do anything. They just kind of sat there and, and lost. So that's interesting. Um, but we wouldn't force the boost, right? And then we would have sent them a bigger rush. And because their boost would, your boost has a cooldown, right? So it's good to send a good, nice bait rush, then rush them, all right? So we've already earned a thousand medallions this video, which is awesome. It's great. Just, just chill. We're relaxed and stuff. We haven't found anyone with powers yet. And it's just like... You know, the minute we find someone who has like power lock or just any like spike storm or something, it's just so much harder and stuff. So we've gotten very lucky. All right. Um, but yeah. Okay. Who we got? Hello, player. Ooh. Okay. Whenever you find someone named player, that means that they're not invested in the game enough to change their name from player. So that means they might not be as good, you know? Great. Okay. So we're going to Heli. Look at this. Heli Farm Brewing. They're all in a line right here. It's super convenient. You know, it's nice. Great. Perfect. Okay, so we'll plop right in here. Nice. Okay. So, same thing as last time. You just want to get in the habit of doing it, all right? You always start with the farm, and it's good. To, you want to start with the farm first, because yes, even though you have to waste a road spike, you get down the farm the earliest, as early as possible, all right? And the and the earliest, the earlier you get down the farm, the sooner you can start making money, all right? And so you get more money in the long run, the, the longer the farm is down. So it's good to get it down as soon as possible, all right? So we plop that down there. Um, they're putting down a road spike right there. Nice, and it's good to see road spikes. Like, let's say this guy had lightning or something. Like, ooh, what was that? Bit of lag. Um, but let's say this guy had, like, lightning or something. Then we would have to be on the toes. If they have lightning, that means they have tier 2 powers, which means they could probably have quick shot. They could have something else. Now, see this guy? They got their farm, right? And that's great. All right, they'll have the farm. The farm is good and stuff. But they should have gotten up the farm on round 1. They didn't spend any money. They're just chilling around 1. Oh, we're going to leak down a little bit. It's good to get up your heli pilot as soon as possible to try and, like, not le leak as little as possible but we're okay all right we're okay those two lives probably won't mean anything so we'll just keep our heli pile around here there's the wizard but this guy they didn't get up any defense they just sat there and so you want to get up the farm as soon as possible because then the farm can start shooting out bananas as soon as possible and so we have a little bit more money than this guy because of that okay so i'm gonna wait for the two zero this time it doesn't really matter we're not going for any more defense remember and we're, by the way bigger jets you do not need bigger jets all right bigger jets you can save 250 dollars by not using that you don't need to just just keep the 250 dollars you can drag your high pilot it's fast enough it's all right it's good you know like it's kind of a convenience upgrade and you don't need to spend money on that like you could spend money on farms and get like extra money or you could just get a little bit more convenience of it being fast and you don't need the heli pilot to be any faster you're good just keep it up here in the front and it's good. The helipod's nice is because it has infinite range, basically. Well, not like it has basically infinite range. You know, like with the wizard, the wizard is restricted to its range, but the helipod, you can drag it along 
and follow rush. So let's say this guy had um, a rush right here, right? I can follow the rush and pick off the rush slowly with my helipilot, just following down the map and stuff. And that's what's nice about the helipilot. And that's another great reason to not have it on pursuit, you know? You can just pick off rushes and stuff. And sometimes pursuit is also Paul's also dumb, all right? Like sometimes balloons are sneaking through your defense and the pursuit heli pilot's like, oh, I wanna go up here. I'm just gonna go up to the top for fun. And it's like, kinda like, what? <laughs> okay. Wow, we're seeing heli pilot wizard. Is that the meta down here? Everyone's going heli pilot wizard. Interesting. Okay. We're greeting very much. Look at this. All we have is an unupgraded heli pilot. We have no upgrades on this heli pilot. It's just a heli pilot right now. But look at our farms here. We can sell our farms for $5,000 in defense whenever we need to. And you really got to get some good reflexes. All right. Practice reflexes where you can just sell your farms instantly. Um, now, if this guy rushing with yellows, we'd be a little on our, it'd be a little dangerous here. So I'm not going to go for a farm really quick in case they rush us. We'll see the rushes. They don't appear to be rushing us. We're, they, they went for a farm. We're upgrading our farm. When someone goes for a farm, that means they're not rushing you, probably. All right? That typically means they're not going to rush you. So that guy went for a farm, so I'm going to go for a farm as well. And look at this. We have a huge farm lead on them. We have a huge, huge farm lead. I'm going to go for one more farm. Then I'm going to get up some defense here. It's a little dangerous. I don't want to lose this game on accident. Because sometimes you greed it. Like, sometimes you greed so hard that you have, like, you know, you might have, like, twenty thousand dollars in farms but then you have only a zero zero high pie and you accidentally lose you know you want to have a little bit of defense at least um all right i'm just gonna go for the two three boomerang just to be safe we'll go for this nice this guy's heli boomerang they only have is that wizard on lightning it's not even on lightning they have a very bad defense so we're gonna try and bait the boost right here so we're just gonna send them whites just plain whites but whites will get past them especially because they don't have lightning so that should force the boost right there that should force the boost where's the boost boost Oh my goodness. There's the boost. Nice. Okay. Their defense is a lot better than I thought, actually. Oh, I forgot about cam detection. Let's get some cam detection really quick. Let's get this up. Now, if they rush me, we sell our farms. By the way, if you ever see your opponent sell all your farm all their farms, that means they're going for an all-out rush. And you definitely want to get up defense then. But this guy's this guy's just chilling. Now their boost is four, so we're gonna send them some regen rainbows. We're gonna go for a massive rush here. It's regen zebras, layering two like a few regen rainbows in there, and they should be it should hurt them right here. Now, here's what's OP about powers right here. This guy, if this guy had powers, they could just spike storm it. They could literally just spike storm it, which is really, that's why powers are really OP and stuff. But, you know, they didn't have spike storm and stuff. They didn't have their boost. Um, so we did take them down right there. And that's why it's good to force the boost. Good game to player. Good game. They played well, all right? They farmed up and stuff. They had a good strategy going for them, but they were not able to defend the regen rainbow rush. And that's why Heli, Heli Wizard isn't as good against regen rainbows, especially when you force the boost like that. So that's why it's good to add the boomerang. Because at, at any point, just practice it, all right? I'm serious. You know, you, you sell the farms, go for the turbocharge, you're good. Now, this guy has a lot more medallions. This guy could have some powers here, so we want to be on our toes here. Um, Cards is also a decently short map. Cards, I know it, does, it seems like a medium map. It's somewhat short, to be honest, but um, this is still a great strategy for this map, so we shall slide right in here. Nice. Okay, great. So, same thing. Farmer. By the way, farmer, like, by the way, you don't have to use the farmer, but I'm just using it because, like, when you're commentating during video, you're, like, I have to speak and play at the same time. Like, imagine you playing. Imagine you get to be speaking the entire time. It's actually harder than you think and stuff. So, I need, I, I can't be tapping bananas as well as playing the game as well as, like, talking at the same time. Oh, we gotta get a road spike. Ah, there we go. All right. Great, that was a quick road spike right there. You like that? Oh, good. oh boy. Okay, so this guy's going Ninja Wizard. Not a bad strategy here. Um, They're starting to eco. Oh, no, this guy might be good. Okay. So they're sending red balloons. Um, We got to get this down this helipod stat. We're gonna probably going to leak down a little bit here. We're definitely going to leak down. It's fine. It's all right. That's what happens on shorter maps. Boom. We'll pop that down right there. Oh, boy. Okay, that's... Mm. I'm going to use a road spike just to help out here, just to stop the rush for a little bit. There we go. Um... To break up the rush a little bit maybe that didn't really work did it we're gonna go for a quad dart i don't want to leak down a billion lives no we're, we're okay are we okay mm, they're sending blues i'm going for quad darts okay we gotta be safe we gotta go for quad darts they stopped sending okay wait no they didn't dang it okay we should be okay against these blues now they're not they're not full sending blues they're like half sending blues so we're okay we can finally go for the next farm we might have to go for even more defense on top of that if they full send blues but they did not so see, sometimes you have to go for defense before farms. You have to play the game, you know? It's not the same thing each time. Typically, you want to go for the farm, then you go for the helipod, but there might be an instant where, where you don't want to do that, all right? So, you know, typically most games you'll have a similar starts, but you just have to you just have to watch out because let's say you let's say you want to go for your farm, but you're about to lose. Don't go for your farm if you're about to lose. Farms do no damage, all right? Um, now this guy's camp. 
Look at this guy's wizard, all right? This wizard does not have lightning, which means this wizard is upgraded to camo detection. Do not get camo detection before you need camo detection, all right? Round two, if it's not round 12 yet, there's no need for you to get camo detection. There really isn't because you can get up, um, you could get up camo detection and say before round 12 and just like be proactive or you can get up farms. If you upgrade your farms instead, then you can get make money off those farms. The camo detection upgrade is not giving you any money, but these farms will. Now here's the green rush. Green rush is very annoying, all right? Green rushes and yellow rushes, very deadly for the strategy. So do not mess around. I'm not gonna greed and go for a farm. I'm going for the buying boomerang, right? Right here, we can afford it. Let's go for the, um, we have to go for the left side. So it actually does something. There we go. We wait, we're gonna leak down a little bit. It'll be okay though. Come on, left side. Ooh, that was a late upgrade. But now with the Bionic Boomerang, we should be able to defend these yellows. Now, yellows and greens, you can accidentally mess up. And sometimes when you're using the strategy, you will mess up. All right? It happens to everyone. But, you know, you'll be focusing on your farms and stuff. And suddenly, they'll rush you uh, with a huge yellow rush. And you you just, you can't focus and you lose. All right? And it's unfortunate when that happens. But look at this. Now we have the Bionic Boomerang. We're good. Um... Yeah, and, and just a warning, sometimes you're gonna, I, I keep saying this, I know I'm repeating this, but you're gonna encounter someone who has super bloom boost or knockout or some ridiculous power and they're just gonna totally own you. And there's nothing you could have done. That's what happens with this game right now. And I don't like that. I think it's a bad move by Ninja Kiwi. I think it makes the game less fun when someone has powers that you don't. Um, but you just kind of have to, you have to deal with it. I don't know. <laughs> okay, great. So, look, look at this. We're, we're still doing pretty good with classic powers. Um, but we found we found some... These people aren't very good here, I don't think. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to go for counter attacks. This guy's worried. This guy's probably going to regen rain rush me. So, we can probably experience. Here's what we're going to do here. We're, oh, they're sending camos. Okay. Um. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to turbocharge this because I'm a scared. Just to be safe. There we go. Okay, we did not need to turbocharge that, but that's what you want to do. You sell the farm, you go for the turbocharge, all right? Maybe you'll need to sell two farms, depending on, how, depending, depending, depending on how much money you have on beforehand. But once you're good, once you defend the rush, you can sell the turbocharge, go back. I know that wasn't something we needed to turbocharge, by the way. That was a kind of new play. I was just, I, was, I got a little freaked out, but we're good. Now, this guy's defense is terrible. This guy's defense is absolutely just awful. So we're going to send this guy a small bait rush here just to see if they damage boost or something. Because the worst thing is when you rush them all out and then they just defend it with damage boost or something. This guy's road spikes and range boost. Oh, no, man, this guy. I okay, they're good. They're good. So now we can send them a much bigger rush here, all right? So we're going to send them um, a bunch of zebras, and you can layer and regen rainbow. So here's a good rush to do. What you do with round 16 natural balloons, awesome. We'll do this. And you layer and range, re regen rainbows. You don't want to send them a giant regen rainbow rush. We'll boost it, and that should take them down nicely. Now, we still have extra defense just in case. Um, and sometimes you do want to sell all your defense, but um, most of the time you want to keep up a little bit of defense if you do go all out, just, just in case they rush you at the same time. So yeah. Good game to Hey is already there. We haven't found someone with good powers yet. Here's what I'm going to do here. I wouldn't recommend doing this. By the way, if you're not, like, accustomed to, like, powers yet, like, I wouldn't do this. I don't know. If, like, Serena Crucible, you're going to find a lot tougher players up here. And a lot of people up here have powers. Like, this guy right here is going to have power. So, I do not expect to, to win this game, all right? I'm saying it right here, like, flat out and clear. I'm merely doing this just to show you guys how hard it is to win against powers here, all right? So, we got Bougie over here. They probably have powers here. We're not using power still. We're still doing the same thing. I know we've already done this map before, but it's a good map, all right? We're going we're gonna to stick with it, all right? I don't normally like doing um, the same map per vid, but, you know, we're doing it. We're fine. Okay, great. So, whew. Okay, let's see what powers this guy has, all right? Let's see what they do here. We're going to plot down the farmer. This guy's chat pack too, which means that they've paid money on this game. So this guy's this guy's not messing around here. Great. Okay. I have chat pack too. Chat pack too. I don't know. I, I had to spend the money. This guy's Cobra. Okay. Okay. This is a bit tougher here. Okay, so we're going to plot down the road spikes. Same thing. I know we're in Surat Crucible. It's, it's an intense match and stuff, but just focus. You know, we're calm. We're chill. We are here. We have the farms. We have the road spikes. We're good. All right. So we're going to go for the farm. Um, they're starting to send reds. This guy knows what they're doing. This guy definitely knows what they are doing. They're sending reds. That's what they should be doing. We're going to leak down a little bit. We, now we could use road spikes. Why don't we use, let, we can use one. Let's use road spikes. Let's just use it. We'll go for this. Boom. And we'll put it right there. Um, and are we good? We're barely defending the reds. Barely. I, it's scary. We're going to send them a few reds here to force them defense. Like their defense is just as terrible as ours though. So we're going to do this. It's, it's worse. Look at this. We forced the mortar. Nice. All right, that's all we need to send. Excellent. Um, uh, I could greed and go for farms. Do I want to do it? We're going to make a greedy... Mm, no, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. Should I go for the farm? Let's see if they send me blues. If they start sending me blues... 
Yeah, they start sending me blues. I'm just gonna go for quad darts. Let's go for the quad darts. Let's catch up a little bit here. Um, and then we'll go for the farms. I don't know. I'm gonna play it a little safe. We could have gone for the farm right there instead of going for the quad darts, though. Like, we have that option. It's just, it's a little dangerous. So, we're good. They have the mortar up. They'll be fine. We can't really rush them right now. The cobras, um, what you want to do with your cobras, by the way, when you're, whenever you use cobras, you set them on strong. And this guy certainly has them set on strong. And if I send the pinks right now, the pinks, the cobras would hit the pinks, and then, uh, the mortar would take care of everything else. So, they'd be good. We're gonna go for one more farm here. And then we probably need a little bit more defense. And what do we do here? I think we need to go for a second high pot. We're gonna boost this, actually. This is a little dangerous here. I want to catch up on these balloons. Man, Halipod's not doing good against these things. I'm going to go... Mm, tell you what I'm going to do. Let's see if they... They stop sending. Okay. So we don't need to go for the heli. Should we go for another farm? Okay. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the boomerang. I know we need to go for farms and stuff, but let's just get at the boomerang, all right? There we go. That should be plenty. Um, And here's the thing. I know it, it's tempting to go for the left side if you need to. We're not going for the left side. We're actually not. Um, we don't need to go for this this left side upgrade yet. We're gonna go quickly go for a farm Then we'll get up the left side. Oh, no This guy's tier four powers. That is a super eco boost right there So that means they have that means you can um, it's ten times the round number. So they just got 70 eco from that So this guy is tier four powers basically which means they have damage boost they have oh boy I guarantee you that this guy is Spike Storm or lightning or something So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and force some of those powers here. So we're gonna use this We're just gonna try this and see if it does anything they have a tax shooter. We forced the tax shooter right there. All right. They're okay. We got them to leak down a little bit. Okay, so they have Cobra, Mortar, Tax Shooter. Not a bad strategy. It's a good strategy, actually. It's a very good strategy. Okay. Um, I'm not going for this yet. We don't need to, I don't think. I'm going to go for one more farm, then I'll go for it. Okay. Now, if this, if we're ever in a pickle, by the way, we just turbocharged. Now, this guy could have Teen Tower Stun or Knockout. And that's what's really annoying about powers. This guy could have Sabotage Powers. All right. Um, I'm actually, hmm, I feel, I'm gonna place a road spike in the back. I know this seems kind of ridiculous, but I'm gonna place a road spike in the back. I'm just gonna do it. We'll go for one more far. We'll be a little bit greedy, because this guy does not seem to be rushing us. They're preparing their defense. They have their Cobras up. We're gonna have to start defending balloon adjustment a little bit, and that's gonna be annoying. I'm going for another farm. The, the, farms are very good in these rounds. These rounds are very short. You get a lot of money here. We'll go for camo protection here. We'll go for this. There we go. Um, and now we'll finally go for this. Now, if we need turbo charge, we will. Let's see if they rush us. They don't have any camo attack. This guy's no camo protection. So here's what we're going to do here. Oh, no, they do. That, they got it. Okay. I don't think there's much we can rush them. They can sell a Cobra and instantly Maelstrom anything if they need to. Like, like think of their Cobras as farms, all right? Their Cobras are farms. They can sell their farms, quote unquote, and they can upgrade a blade, get a Blade Maelstrom whenever they need to. So they're good. We have no Camel Ed Pie Power right now. This guy should send me Camel Ed. Force, force the Razor Rotors, but they're not. I'll probably get it up anyway in a little bit, but go for this and now i'm gonna go for the razor rotors just to be safe in a hot second there we go nice this guy i haven't seen any sabotage powers out of this guy which makes me very happy sabotage powers are impossible they're so annoying okay great yeah okay super eco boost powers man powers make me less like positive i know i try to be positive in my videos but there's nothing positive about powers you just get destroyed and there's nothing you can do <laughs> okay great it's fine I'm going to try a small regen lead on this one. This guy. Just leads. We'll send a few regen leads in there. Oh, uh, they got the ring of fire. Okay. Well, th they're good against everything now. Now, this is going late game. This is... We're getting some late game action right here. And, um... This guy has a great eco. Super eco. They're probably going to start balloon adjusting, balloon adjusting me to, um, soon, though. And balloon adjustment means they're upgrading their Cobras. Oh, man. I'm worried. I'm... We could go for the factory. I'm not going to go for the factory, though, because they're going to start balloon adjusting us, and we're going to need to get the Apache dart ship. But look at our farms right here. We can sell our farms right now for, like, $15,000 in defense if we ever need to. Like, that's solid. Um, Now, they can mouse around everything and their Cobras, and they have a lot of defense right now, so I don't think a Moab is worth it. So we're not going to send them a Moab. We'll see if they send us a Moab. And if they send us a Moab, we're going to turbocharge it. We'll see if they do that. Oh, they're starting a balloon adjustment. All right. Um, right. I'm going to get up a Glaive Lord. I think Glaive Lord's just going to help out a lot. So we'll go for that. Um, we, I don't think we need to go for the... We don't need to go for the right side. That's only for Camel Leads. Um, the Glaive Lord's going to help out a lot. But is it enough? There's ceramics. See, the, these Camo ceramics are going to be the worst. They're going to be so bad. We need more helipods, I think. I'm just going to plop it. Whoa! Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. I just... I totally goofed that up. 
I need to post this video. I'm sorry. Okay, I should have sold that and gone for an Apache Jar Chip instantly. I totally just goofed that game. Goofs happen. They happen. It's great. Yo, we just... We literally just lost all the medallions we earned in Rainbow Ruins. Isn't that funny? Uh, that's not that funny. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And try out the strategy in Rainbow Ruins. Tell me, how it's, tell me how it goes. I do read the comments. I just can't respond to them, all right? I wish I could, but yeah.